and the bar tape. Here you can see I've got two colours, black and white, and the rider next to me has the plain black. Either way, I'm going to show you how you can wrap handlebar tape, and in particular, emphasis on wrapping two colours together. I've had my bar tape on for about two years, so it's time to replace it. Here you can see the colour difference. Nice clean white new tape, and the old grotty tape. No matter how much I try and clean it, it just doesn't come up clean anymore. And you can tell where you ride with your hands the most. Here the drops are a lot cleaner, so obviously I don't ride a lot on the drops. But at the top, most of the time is spent on the top. The tape's also coming apart in a few places. It's definitely time to replace it. Just quickly, how to clean your tape. One spray bottle with laundry liquid and water, and the other one with plain water. Firstly, spray on the laundry liquid and water, liberally. Massage it in nice and firmly. Pull the lever hood back, that helps as well. And you can already see the dirt coming off. Then spray it clean with the plain water. And if it's still not clean enough, just do that same procedure again. But if your bar tape is still as ugly as my face, it's time to replace it. So for the sake of this video, we're going to just do one side. So firstly, pull your lever hood back. Take note of any lugs on the inside of the lever hood which fit onto the lever. You don't want to be wrapping tape on there and obstructing their fit. So on this side of the lever, we've got this lug which fits in this hole. And on the other side of the lever, we've got this lug which fits in that hole. Using a fairly wide flathead screwdriver, remove the end plug and pry out the tape from inside the end of the handlebar. Unwind the tape slowly so that none of the bar tape breaks off and sticks to the handlebars. And here we can see a gel insert which is underneath the tape. That's for comfort, so we're going to leave that on and put the new tape over the top of that. You may find that some adhesive from the old tape sticks to your handlebars, but that's okay. Here you can see some of the old tape is stuck to the handlebar, so use a sharp knife and carefully cut it off. You can leave the old sticky adhesive on the bars, it'll help the new tape stick even better. If you really want to remove the stubborn old tape and adhesive from your bars, use either methylated spirits or the laundry liquid in water. Spray it on a rag, dab it on the area and let it soften the adhesive. There we go, nice and clean and ready for the new bar tape. If you are going to use a gel insert like this, make sure it's sitting in the right position. If you want to change your levers position either down or up or sideways, or even change a cable or their positions, Now's the time to do it before you begin putting on your new tape. Making sure that your cables are well taped to the bar and are in the right position. To do a dual colour tape, you'll need a set of each colour that you want. So here, one set of black and one set of white. I'm using one of the cheapest bar tapes you can buy on the market. There's even no adhesive on the back here. All bar tape needs to be stretched on, so get a feel for the tape's elasticity, even to the point of breaking it. When putting the tape on, you'll need your bike upright and the bars in a steady position. So I'm putting the rear wheel in a turbo trainer stand and the front wheel between my knees. Don't use a repair stand because your bike just wobbles around too much. Put the end of one of your bar tapes at the end of the lever body. Holding it in position, wrap it around the lever clamp. And now with some scissors, cut it level with the other side of the brake lever body. Keep that small piece handy because we'll be using it soon. Use the tape colour that you want at the end of your handlebar and begin by wrapping it around once. Insert the second coloured tape between the first tape and the handlebar about a centimetre in from the bar's end. I've drawn two yellow lines here as a guide. One line runs along the handlebar while the other line is at right angles to it. 
the white tape coming off at an angle going backwards toward the end of the handlebar. The black tape coming off at an angle going forward up the bar. The black tape already has the right angle from the start. The white tape within the first turn or so needs to be coming off at the same angle as the black so that as you wind them they're both winding up the bar at the same angle. Now using that small piece we cut off for the lever, place it over the lever's clamp and then wind the tape up and over and it will hold that piece on. As you can see there's no change in direction, keep winding the tape forward and over the bar. Try and keep the gaps between the colours fairly consistent and even. If you need to, you can adjust one tape at a time like this. Gradually you'll get there. Just take your time. When you get to near where you want to finish up, Cut the tape that you don't want to end with. In this case, I don't want to end with the black colour. And cut it so that it finishes underneath the handlebar. We'll call this the lagging colour. Continue wrapping around once more with your finishing colour and then cut it level with the lagging colour. Now cut a taper on the lagging colour so that its end fits underneath the finishing colour. This may take a bit of fiddling around, but you'll get there. Now attach the sticky holding wrap to your finishing colour bar tape. And you may like to cut a taper on your finishing tape, so that it all looks nice and even. Wind on your sticky holding wrap, nice and tight, and go around about three times. Cut that again so that it's underneath the handlebar and here I'm just using some super glue to hold it on. Don't use too much super glue otherwise you end up sticking your fingers to your handlebar tape. When finishing off your second side make a measurement so that it finishes equidistant from your head stem. Roll your lever hoods back on and that's the hard part done with. Likely your end plug is not going to be fat enough to fit into the end of the bar, so use some leftover bar tape and wrap it around once or twice, and then it should fit in nice and snug. Make sure you get the logo up the right way, insert it into the bar and just push it in with your thumbs. Keep your leftover bar tape and ends, you never know when you want to use it.